Well, I've been hiding these CubeSats in three different locations. Two of the locations, the CubeSats have been found and taken, and the one location where they haven't been is on a side street where I don't think people walk very much. Okay, I've removed the CubeSat from this location because nobody walks their dog down this street because there's two cul-de-sacs and then there's a major street at the end. Nobody wants to walk their dogs all the way down and up the major street. So this whole block is kind of not really very well walked. People usually come down here and go the other direction. All right, I'm relocating this CubeSat to this location because this is where one of them was taken a few weeks ago. It's empty. It got taken again. Yes, I finished off another box of Pop-Tarts. I noticed on the carton here, there's some really cool artwork and I think I can make another cube set Yes, good morning everybody. We had a little snow the other day, but now it's nice and clear out. It's a beautiful morning. I'm walking down the side street toward the little free library, and there's a reason for this. You guys might remember about a month ago, I started this project called the CubeSat Project, but I hadn't heard back from anybody in terms of my email contact information or whatever. Until this morning, I got an email. From, hey, we found your little cube in the free library yesterday evening on our evening walk so it might be fun to walk down there and take a look at the little free library yes it does snow in New Mexico and even in Albuquerque especially if you live up by the foothills of the Sandias you'll probably get more snow than in the valley Yes, the little free library. It looks like, for sure, the cube sat is gone. Just as they said. And that represents some kind of success or closure, at least, to the CubeSat project. Not all of the CubeSats that I left had replies, but I got a reply from one person, and I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to email that person back with a link to all the videos in this series. So they might find it kind of interesting to watch the whole process unfold. But in the meantime, uh, I'm going to continue my little morning walk. So I've been trying to get out on a walk every morning, you know, mainly for my health. There's been two, at least two projects that have arisen out of walking. One of those was the shadows. Kind of a long process of noticing the tree shadows being cast across the streets and onto the walls of houses. Barren tree branches in the winter sun angle. I took a lot of still photos over the course of weeks for that project because I was taking a camera out every day. Oh, by the way, we have a yard full of cars, old cars. It's uh, obviously some guy lives there. And then the other project, of course, was this CubeSat project, which also involved walking around the neighborhood, locating places, little cubby holes that might be fun to hide a CubeSat in. So this is just two examples of some of the things that can happen when you kind of free up your mind and your schedule a little bit. Try to make a regular point of going for a walk and instead of listening to music or something, just let your mind free associate. Just let yourself think about things. 
and uh, the doggies, they look like very ferocious poodles. Good thing there was a fence there. But yeah, letting your mind free associate and just letting it go and drift and think about things and you come up with all kinds of fun ideas and that's what I've done. So I don't know what else is left of new projects yet, but I expect to be surprised there'll be something new come along and I'll be sure to share it with you. And until later, stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye bye for now.